Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode. In today's episode, we are going to Akron, Ohio, kind of, um, for another one of our favorite haunts, um, Ghoul Brothers. They won our Haunt of the Year in 2022, I think. I believe so. I think so. it was, yeah. yes, and it's been one of our favorites for quite a while now since the first time we went there. We try to make it a point to go there every year, sometimes multiple times, so... Absolutely love this place, and you guessed it, we will be having giveaway Woo. for a couple tickets for this later on in the video, so make sure you're sticking around, but let's not beat around the bush any longer. Enjoy this episode of Haunt Talk. So yes, again, Ghoul Brothers. It might be in a shopping plaza, but let me tell you what, it is not your average like shopping plaza haunt. Like, no, not at all. This is put on by a lot of haunt veterans who care a lot about the haunt industry, um, or just about haunting in general. Um, one might say too much. No. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like for serious, like, every haunter that we typically interact with is insanely passionate about the haunt. I don't know if I know anyone that's quite as passionate about just the act of being a haunter than the people that work at Ghoul Brothers. Oh my gosh. Like, it is next level, um, and you definitely feel it just going in there. Mm -hmm. Like, you're like, wow, these people love what they do. Like, you know you go to some haunts and there's always that one or two actors that's just kind of like, like they, they barely try like no no this place like every single one yeah is like a haunt psychopath and <laughs> you feel that energy and it's great <laughs> um but yeah so that being said i think we're going to get into the review which is always means we need to refer to the book of the day book of the day book of the day book of the day all right, so as always, we're going to start with sets and props. Um, so this isn't like your um, one theme kind of place. Um, they have a bunch of little themes all mixed together, which really works in the way that they do yeah, it. Yeah, it know? does. It's very like classic haunted house yeah. feel, but with the um, like aesthetics and the set detail of like, you know, a modern day, very detailed, beautiful haunt. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you might walk into like a scene that's, you know, Christmas themed, and then next thing you know, you're in like a bayou. You know, it, it's just, it's really strange, but it works. It just, and it's just fun. <laughs> it, it does, and it almost makes the haunt feel a little bit longer, I think, than mm -hmm. it actually is as well because there's constantly something new to look at. So you're yeah. always like, oh, what's that? What's that? What's And it feels, <laughs> because ever since every single room is different, everything, you know, there is like no real repetition. So it really makes it feel like there's even more scenes, I think, than there are because of the fact that um, there's just so much variety, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm always surprised. Like, it's not like a short haunt by any means, but I'm always surprised, like... I always think I'm in there for a little bit longer than I am. But. Yeah, yeah, because we, we always time it. You know that, like, in our reviews, we always tell you how long it typically takes us. And when we get out of there, he's like, you know, oh, it only took, you know, 18, 20 minutes. And I'm just like, really? Yeah, it felt like, a lot longer than that. Yeah, but also part of that is because of the intensity of the actors, which we'll get to in a minute. But um, they did have, have a new scene this year, um, which is doll themed it was pretty cool you should experience that for yourself but they did some interesting things in there um also kind of tying in with actors because again this place is very actor driven like the sets and props are beautiful and really cool um one thing that we didn't really know and this is a reason you should go watch their documentary episode on this is the amount of movie props that are in this it's a lot things yeah. from like jurassic park resident evil like the actual movies and like a, yeah. a bunch of other things too hunger games Yep, there are something yeah. from the Hunger Games. Yeah, there's like a couple doors that you go through that are from Hunger Games. I'm like, yeah. oh, I wouldn't have known that. Like, 
um, just it's amazing because yeah, um, the owner he actually um, was from Hollywood. He like actually worked on yeah. Hollywood movies and stuff like that. So these are like legit props from these movies. Yeah. And um, the way they incorporated them into the haunt is really well done. Yeah, absolutely. I mean. You know, some standout scenes that I always like. There's, like, this Halloween kind of, like, barn area. There's, like, a pumpkin area. There's the gator swamp. Yeah. That's really cool. <laughs> the whole new wharf fisherman thing, which is new, like, a year or two ago. Yeah. Um, that whole thing's really cool. Even their clown section feels a bit different. Like, I don't know. I mm -hmm. like the way they, they do it. The place definitely has a... Even though every single room is a different theme, the place overall has an aesthetic that I have a hard time describing, but... There is an over, there's a. It's like eclectic. Yeah, I don't know how, yeah. Like, I don't know. Everything ties yeah. together in a weird way, even though everything's yeah. very, very different. Yeah. Like a similar like style. I don't really know how to describe it, but if you've been there, I feel like you understand what I mean. Um, you know, they have like lab scenes, just a lot of like traditional Halloween type, type scenes. Um, they also have, it's like, um, it's supposed to be like an abandoned like sea world like amusement park kind of thing as well yeah yeah which is kind of cool with uh animatronic i never noticed for until we did the documentary it's like this really creepy um it's supposed to be like that like like an animatronic you would see at like amusement park but with most of it's like um skin gone. yeah yeah he's really weird like he's like a cowboy because he's got like a big mustache yeah, it's and it, it i i want to know what it's from because he looks like he was from something but I, like, he looks so familiar, but I cannot put my finger yeah. on it. It's really creepy. But, yes. Um, for sets and props, we did give it a 10. Again, there's pretty much nothing I have to complain about. The only thing I used to complain about was there was, like, this one section where you just do a bunch of black hallways. It wasn't a bunch. It was a couple black hallways, and they pretty much completely got rid of that. There's yeah. very, very little filler. Like, maybe one or two little, like, hallways in between a scene here and there, but not enough to even notice they go by so fast it really is just scene after scene after scene after scene yeah and then done yeah. it's like oh <laughs> um so yes moving right along to the bread and butter that is ghoul brothers which is actors oh my gosh like it's so funny because there's just so many and it's so amazing because like this place is like you know compact feeling and you're like how are all these actors fitting in this place? Because they're just everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. Like popping out of every little hole and nook and cranny that you can find in there. And it, it's it's amazing. Yeah, like the one, like the second note I have here is some scenes had like five. And that's not an exaggeration. <laughs> no, there was not at one all. or two where it was like jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. <laughs> and it's like, and then yeah, there's like, there's like two people just being crazy. And then there's all these other people just popping out of the woodworks. And it's just like, Towards the end, you almost become just numb to it because you're just like, <laughs> oh my God, stop scaring me. <laughs> like, it's crazy. You're like, give me a minute. Give me a minute. And I feel like every year I go, I'm like, that felt like more than the year before. And like, mm -hmm. and, it, and it did. Um, there's the one guy, like, and again, they, they change up costume a lot and stuff, but the one that followed us like throughout the entire thing, um, just like had these like latex gloves on, just covered in what looked like dripping blood. I assume it was actually dry. I, mean, um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and he just kept following, like, you know, the first thing was kind of, like, talking about how he wanted my skull. And then he would randomly pop up later and be like, can I have the skull yet? Are you yeah. done with it yet? Like, just, yeah. like, all the way up to the end, like. <laughs> yeah, he wanted my brain. He's like, yeah. when you're not using it, I'll take it. How about now? Yeah. And I'm like, no, I'm still using it. Thank you. <laughs> and we do get a little bit of an extra experience with this place, too, you know, to full, full transparency. Because at this point, they know us, especially since doing the documentary. So we get our names called out a lot. And we get we get really um, oh tormented gosh. in this place. Now, even before they knew us, like, it, it, you're still going to get very similar experience. Yes. But you might not, you know, get your name called and tormented quite as much as we do. <laughs> because they really... Um, make it a point to get us <laughs> yes yes but yeah probably our friend isaac got one of the biggest scares i've oh ever seen gosh. it was the gator scene and he was looking at the gator and i was watching the one this guy just came running out of the darkness basically and as soon as isaac turns i mean there was not even a hair you probably could have put between their two faces 
you're in that scene you're kind of walking through like a half claustrophobia tunnel yeah. if it wasn't for that i think isaac would have literally fell to the floor yeah no he he like, fell and hit the gator he hit the gator like he went in the gator's mouth it, it was it was one of the best like i kind of wish i had it on video because it was probably the best thing i've ever seen like walking through watching somebody get scared in a haunted house because it was just it was perfect yeah, because I was about to, I'm like, oh my, and then, yeah, it was, yeah, it was funny, he got him good. Yeah. Um, yeah, in that doll room, there was this, like, creepy guy who just, like, had this, like, doll on his hand, and, like, he would, like, talk mm -hmm. to you as that. The wharf girl, before you walk in there, she didn't, um, she wasn't, uh, like, walking around scaring, but she was, like, on this chair, and she's just, like, I don't know who she was talking to, I don't know if she's talking yeah. to us, but she's just sitting in her own world, just mumbling, and. Yeah. Saying, I don't even think it was English. She yeah, was saying it was something. Yeah, some sort of gibberish or something. Like, she was like, blah, 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 yeah. blah, and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> but that's what I love about Ghoul Brothers is it's not always just a bazillion jump scares. Oh, yeah. that's there. Oh, that's there. But then, like, like there is this guy that has, like, and you've seen it probably before, the really long finger. Think, mm -hmm. like, if you went to Cedar Point, like, Mr. Midnight. You know, those yeah, long fingers. Yeah. Or Lady Gaga. Yeah. He um probably showed up at least five times, and he never really tried to jump scare you. You would just notice him watching you places, maybe just around a corner with his fingers watching you. Or maybe you'd look over and he's just watching you in the window with just the tips of his fingers just going <laughs> like this. And it's just creepy because, you know, you have all these other people jump scaring you, but then there's just this guy that you just keep seeing from beginning to end of the haunted house randomly. Mm -hmm. And there's something so creepy about that. And again, it's the way this place is designed. We've talked about it before. It's designed brilliantly where the actors are able to scare you in the first and the last scene um, so easily for them. But it really is freaky. Because you're not used to that in a haunted house, seeing someone at minute one and then seeing someone at like minute 18 or whatever, <laughs> and you're like, and you've seen them in between. It's just weird. It's mm -hmm. creepy. It's like it makes you feel like you're being stalked by them. Yeah, or like you're like, is there multiple people dressed the same? And it's like, no, it's the same person. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then another one of our favorites is the pumpkin girl. There's like this scene with like a bunch of pumpkins we talked about and she like just literally her face is dressed up like a pumpkin. Yeah. And so she's just like, ah, and I don't know. It's always just, it's kind of a funny scare. Mm -hmm. um, and then the attic girl, which is always there. She's another one that's just very stoic. She's more of like kind of there to distract you from other mm -hmm. things. And you know, a lot of people piloting puppets in this place as well. They yeah. have quite a few of those. That's something, of course they have the alligator, but they have a few others as well. But just, yeah, every single one of them does such an amazing job. And as we've discussed many, or as we've um, said many times, Ghoul Brothers is just a lot of fun. While it is mm -hmm. super scary, um, it's also a lot of fun, and that's because of the actors. Yeah. Um, so as always, for the last couple of years, I think we've given actors 10. They obviously are getting a 10 again. They're just basically haunted house perfection as far as actors are concerned. Yes. All right, so now's a good time to talk about the giveaway we talked about earlier in the video. So... I'm going to go over the details, and this one's going to be a little bit different if you've done some of the other ticket giveaways for us. There's going to be like a little one extra step, kind of trying to cross-promote here with um, Ghoul Brothers a little bit. So, you need to make sure you comment on the video. I want the tickets. You can I say other things, tickets. but you need to comment that. And then you need to fill out the form. There's a link to it in the description down below. Um, you're going to fill out the form. You're going to have to enter your email, um, your name, and then the video password, which the video password for this particular video is bros bros 2024 so that way i know which one you're actually entering for because the same form we're using for all the tickets now the extra step here is i'm not going to be announcing the winner they're going to announce the winner on ghoul brothers facebook page so you need to go over and like and follow that page you're going to have to comment or message them or whatever they'll they'll have the details on their page of how you redeem them i I'll, I'll let them know obviously who the winner is cuz i'll get all the information so you don't actually have to do anything on their facebook page besides like and subscribe to it so you can see if you won or not and then you'll have to of course respond to them to redeem those tickets so make sure you're paying attention to their facebook page you actually will need to like their page and um, keep the notifications on for that but yes um, again, that's good for two tickets, so do those things, and they will be announcing the winner on, I'm assuming it's going to be Friday the 11th is what I think we're going to do for that. So yeah, Friday the 11th is when they will announce the winner. Um, so good luck if you um, choose to enter, and only enter if you actually are going to be able to go sometime after the 11th of October. <laughs> and now we're going to talk about Scare Factor. Um, like we said before, there are just so many actors and so many good hiding spots and just 
really great jump scares, great distractions, great uses of animatronics to distract you while somebody comes from like another direction and gets you. Um, just really, really excellent scare. Um, there is a good amount of gore. Um, not like over the top, but there is quite a bit. Um, and, uh, I mean, yeah, there's just so many actors and everything like that, that it just really get, like, if you don't get scared in one room, you're gonna get a scare in the next room, guaranteed. Yeah, and they're good at making sure that everyone in the group, front, back, yes. middle, whatever, gets a scare. Um, and what we always do say is, even though this place is very scary with jump scares, it is also fun, mm -hmm. and again, we correlate it a lot to Chippewa. Um, because we typically go to Chippewa before we go to this one, where Chippewa is scary in like this dark, gritty, like suspenseful, anxiety-ridden way. Where this one obviously has that anxiety, but it also it just feels so fun and high energy mm -hmm. and just like manic. It feels very manic with the yes. actors just everywhere. Um, but this year was even I feel like scarier than most years. Like I was in the back and I got to see both Kim and Isaac because they were leading. <laughs> just have some of the biggest scares I've seen yeah. at this place. Yeah. So we did actually go ahead and give it a 10 this year. Um, we typically give it slightly, I feel like, lower than a 10. Mm -hmm. We give it close, but this year I just felt like, man, with the amount of jump scares, like... But something that is really cool that I want to mention for Scare Factor, even though we are giving it a 10 and seeing it's super scary, and we got to witness it when we were there, um, some parents bought their kids, tickets went in, kids were too scared. They actually offer, most places, a glow necklace as a touch-me pass. For there, it's a... Uh, the actors will basically wave to the kids and just kind of, like act and like you know whatever maybe talk to them but they're not going to jump scare them now air cannon sounds they can't just turn that off entirely right. but it makes the experience a lot more mild and then it tends to be if this might be only on slower nights but if the kids like it sometimes they'll let you go through a second time if they can accommodate it without that so they can actually get the full haunted house experience yeah. if they can make it through you know not being touched but i really like that they do that mm -hmm. that they they like you know, they want to make sure that everyone can have a fun experience. And I like the idea of being able to get kids into haunted houses because they're so much fun, but obviously as a child, it can be terrifying. So it's kind of a way to ease them into it. So yeah. highly recommend if you do have kids, you can take them there and you can do that. And it's a great way to see if they're going to like haunted houses or not by letting them see the full show, but the actors just won't terrify them. Yeah. Um, all right, so that brings us to the final category, which is value. So it is $25 for general admission, $35 for a uh, fast pass, and 18 minutes. 25 is pretty cheap for a haunted house anymore. Yeah. Like, there's only one other haunted house that's not around that area that's cheaper. I don't know mm -hmm. of any other that's really less than 25 anymore. And for the quality you get, it's an absolute must-do. Oh, yeah. um, we gave value a 10 brings us to our overall score which since everything else has been a 10 you guessed it also a 10 <laughs> um so if you're in the area and you're doing something like haunted schoolhouse in the laboratory which is also good um make sure you check this place oh, out yeah. um i like haunted schoolhouse in the laboratory i do like cool brothers more um just because again i just love that constant scaring mm -hmm. um but yeah and also chippewa is only like a half hour away so if you do chippewa yeah. make sure to do this one as well i mean really you could really hit three easily that night chippewa schoolhouse and cool brothers oh yeah um, just have like start start early um and then yeah just kind of have yourself a night full of screams yeah. but yes and as always make sure you're liking make sure you're subscribing make sure you're ringing that notification bell so you don't miss any future upcoming videos we have quite a few more reviews to go and more giveaways mm -hmm. as well thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one